Mimi Momo is a 10th grader at Timberview High School. She was on the second floor in class when she heard those shots today. And she is joining us tonight with her mom, Quinette. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Mimi, you were on the second floor when the shooting happened. What did you see? What did you hear? Um, I heard gunshots, two gunshots. And what happened inside your classroom when you heard those shots? As soon as we heard those two gunshots, we went to survival mode, to lockdown. Mm -hmm. and, and walk us through what that moment felt like, how people in your classroom were reacting. Everyone was scared, of course, you know. We were scared, you know, because the gunshots were very loud and very close to us. Mm -hmm. How long were you in the classroom before you were able to leave? Um, I would say three to four hours. Mm -hmm. And how did you get out? Um, a SWAT man came and we had to put our hands up and walk down to the line to get patted down to go on the bus. So while you're in that classroom for a couple of hours, what's happening in those moments? Um, everyone's just quiet and scared, you know, in shock that this event happened. You know, I saw some video of a student filming on their phone when the gunshots happened. My thought immediately went to my own kids who were in school. I'd want to hear from them right away, and I'd want to know if they were okay. Mimi, were you able to call your mom, text your family, let them know what was happening? Yes, I was able to do that. Quinette, what were those texts like for you to receive? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was horrible. At first, when she sent me the first text message, and she sent me the screenshot of the of the message that was sent out to parents about the active shooter. I was so scared. I was at work actually tending to patients. I couldn't function. I was crying. I, it was very hard for me. Um, I had to drive all the way from work home to her school, straight to her school. Although I was, I was testing her, with, I was communicating with her, but still I really wanted to see her physical, physically because I didn't know. They told She told me that the gunman or her head that the gunman would uh, gun person left the scene uh, and I was scared. I was like, okay, maybe he's going to come back with more people. I was confused. I was scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. Although I was talking to her, but I was still scared. Mm -hmm. Mimi, what was your teacher telling you during all of this? Um, just to hide, you know, hide behind the desk, make sure you're not seen by the windows. Yeah. Were you scared? Yeah, I was scared. Mm -hmm. Were they able to lock the door or were you in one of the rooms where they had to push a bookshelf up against the door? We were able to lock the doors. Mm -hmm. Quinette, I understand for a lot of families, just the, the terrifying time that you had to wait before you were with your daughter again went on for hours and hours. Any idea why it took so long to get your, your daughter back to you once that suspect had been arrested, did they say? I think they were just trying to make sure that the kids were safe and handed it to their parents. And so they had a process that they had to show their ID card parents. There was a long line. You have to sign a document. So it took a, it took a long time uh, for the kids to. Mm -hmm. What was it so like we, when it was, it was, I was calling her, I was texting her. She was like, mommy, I'm okay. I was still crying, still shivering, but she was like, mommy, I'm okay. I said, I'm okay. I said, but still it was taking forever. <laughs> and, and the dad was there, was communicating with me. I was like, yeah, the line is so very long, but I was still scared. I just wanted her because uh, to come home. Yeah. You know? The text is not the same, right? We need our kids in our arms in those moments. What was it like when, when you guys were back together? <laughs> it was, we're so happy, we're hugging Mimi, kissing Mimi. <laughs> she was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, but it was different from the usual, she comes home from school, is hi, mommy, I say hi, Mimi, but today was different. Mm. She was like, we're having a party, like, Mimi, Mimi, the younger ones were running to her. Everybody hugging their kids a little tighter yeah, tonight. Yeah, hugging kids, you know, Mimi, they wouldn't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Never let go. Mimi and Quinette Momo, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Mimi, I'm glad you're safe, and um, we appreciate you walking us through that. Thank you. Thank you, guys.